National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, Dr. Jonathan Beatty here, naturopathic doctor and a health expert at nationalnutrition.ca. Today, I wanna to take a little bit of time to talk to you about adrenal support. The adrenal gland is a small gland. Uh, you actually have two of them. They sit on top of your kidneys, sometimes also called the suprarenal gland. Uh, you'll probably recognize adrenal from the word adrenaline. Uh, yes, that's right. That's where your adrenaline, or as we call it here in Canada, your epinephrine uh, is created, as well as your norepinephrine. Uh, the adrenal gland is actually subdivided into two little parts. You've got your medulla, which produces your fight or flight uh, response, as well as you've got your cortex, uh, which produces most of your sex hormones, as well as your stress hormone called cortisol. Uh, this is why it's so important that we manage our adrenal health. It's because our adrenal gland uh, modulates, amongst other things, our stress response. And you know, the, the more chronic stress we're under, the more that's actually gonna debilitate and weaken the adrenal gland, uh, impairing its normal function. Now, that becomes a big problem as normal function of the adrenal gland is required for proper thyroid health, proper sex hormone production and metabolism, as well as uh, normalized blood pressure, normal blood sugar, and a normal stress response. So when you have any impairment to adrenal function, uh, you can run into impairments in all of these different systems, and that can cause all sorts of health issues. So if we actually manage adrenal health and prevent it from deteriorating, that's really important. I'm a big fan of the ounce of prevention is worth a pound to cure approach to medicine. And so taking care of your adrenal gland, uh, supporting it is really important going forward. And so, uh, especially in this you know, modern world with all sorts of stressors, first thing you need to understand about stress though, uh, which is ultimately what's going to weaken your adrenal gland over time, stress is any stimulus beyond which your body can normally uh, respond to. So anything that pushes your body out of its normal comfort zone be it an emotional stressor, an environmental stressor, uh, you know, food allergy or a food stressor, uh, infection, all of these things behave as stressors on the body and that's ultimately gonna weaken our adrenal gland over time. So supporting our adrenal gland comes down to a few different things. Uh, most important, what we wanna be doing is actually addressing uh, you know, your stressors in your life. So look for some of these things we can't control, air pollution, light pollution, you may not have a lot of control over those in your life. Don't worry about those stressors then. I mean, obviously, the more steps we can take to rid the world of air pollution, the better, uh, but at the same time, don't get overly stressed about that because that's only gonna make your problem worse. Instead, focus on those stressors that you can control. So some of the ones that I look at are dietary stressors, you know, infection stressors, uh, people with chronic yeast infections. That yeast behaves like stress 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, you know, addressing those kind of issues is really important to long-term adrenal health and long-term stress management. Now, there are some herbs you can use to help uh, ensure adrenal health. Uh, rhodiola rosea, uh, it's been shown in many studies to help stabilize the adrenal gland and normalize its function. Uh, you can also look at one of the most classic stress herbs, uh, Panax ginseng, or Korean ginseng as it's commonly known. Uh, very helpful for the adrenal gland. Uh, B vitamins, B vitamin complexes have been shown to be very helpful for normalizing uh, adrenal gland function. Specifically, uh, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12. Uh, those three in particular are really important uh, to supplement if you have a lot of stress in your life, and that will help prevent adrenal fatigue or, in the worst case scenario, adrenal insufficiency, which is the severe version of adrenal fatigue. Some of the signs that your adrenal gland may be fatiguing, uh, especially, you know, it's best to catch this early on. One of the things we often see is lightheadedness on standing, uh, hypersensitivity to light. So if you find, you know, bright lights, you always need sunglasses, or you struggle driving at night, those are some important ones to keep an eye on. That mid, what we call mid-afternoon fatigue, you know, if you get to two o'clock, three o'clock in the office, next thing you know, you're trying to put your head down on your desk, uh, that's a good sign that your adrenal glands are starting to fatigue. Um, and so, you know, these are some really easy keynotes that you often see in people at the earliest stages of adrenal fatigue. So if you experience any of those, your adrenal gland is starting to weaken and it's really important that you support it. So in summary, reducing your stressors, identifying the stress in your life, removing the ones that you can control, 
And then again, supplementing with some of the basic herbs. Again, some of my favorites are rhodiola and ginseng, as well as ensuring adequate B vitamin support. And if you really want to top it off, vitamin C, you know, important for healthy collagen and connective tissue, but also very important for healthy hormone balance and healthy adrenal function. So making sure you supplement with all of those to allow your body to compensate for all the stressors that you may experience. So if you like this video, check out more of our videos at nationalnutrition.ca, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And remember, knowledge is health.